So now we will discuss certain important topics for nutrition science exam. Just take the screenshots if possible, okay? So from chapter two, okay, chapter one is just self-study. You don't have to study much, okay? It's just for your understanding. Chapter two, when it comes to RDA, all the full forms, abbreviations, please study that, okay? Uh, dietary components, that table that uh, influences nutrient requirement, that table. Dietary factors, bioavailability, these things. Determination of RDA of different nutrients. Go through that. Indian reference, man and woman. And practical applications of RDA. That's enough, okay, from this chapter. Chapter 3 and 4 is uh, carbohydrates, part 1 and part 2. Part 2 is your dietary fiber, part 1 is carbohydrates. So, under that types of carbohydrates, okay, the classification of carbohydrates is important. Digestion of car carbohydrates, absorption of carbohydrates, how it is digested, how it is absorbed, what is glycemic index, what is glycemic load, difference between these. Metabolism of carbohydrates. Hormones that maintain blood glucose levels, very important part. Yeah, and in uh, dietary fiber part two, soluble fiber, insoluble fiber, the difference between them, okay? Uh, effects of fiber, nutritional effects of fiber. That's, that's enough, that's from enough from these two chapters, okay? Proteins, again, the classification of protein, classification of all your macronutrients are important. The recording will be available. That's why I'm saying it fast. Okay. So, proteins, all the classification is important. Learn about essential amino acids, non-essential amino acids. Okay. Conditional essential amino acids. Function of protein, very important. Quality of protein, DIA score, a score, PDCA a score. Okay, these two scores are impo important, essential amino acid score. These three scores, complementary value of uh, protein, sources of protein. That's it. All the other formulas, no need to study. Lipids as well, classification. Okay, saturated, unsaturated, short chain, medium chain, long chain. What is cholesterol? Okay. Ketone bodies, brown adipose tissue, phospholipids. These are the forms in which fats are available in your body. Okay. These are the different forms in which fats or lipids are available in your body. Okay. You have to know that. Then trans fatty acids in food. When fat comes in food, how it is? What are the types of fats that you find in food? So trans fatty acids, isoprenoids, visible, invisible fats. Functions of fats, very important. All the macronutrients, vitamins, minerals, all of them, functions are the most important part of the exam, okay? Lots of questions about the functions will come. Essential fatty acids, omega-3, omega-6, omega-9, okay? What are the main functions of essential fatty acids? The deficiency of essential fatty acids, what can it cause? RDA, you don't have to study much. Sources also, you don't have to study because these, these data is easily available everywhere, okay? Energy balance, the definition of energy, uh, calorie meter, okay? About that, uh, just the types of calorie metric, direct, indirect, in my class, I have explained in detail, in detail, okay, what is BMR, basal metabolic rate, the uses of basal metabolic rate, okay, thermic effect of food, factors that influence your basal metabolic rate, factors that influence your physical activity, okay, thermic effect of food, these are the important topics. 
severe uh, acute malnutrition, the entire chapter is important. Okay, all all topics are important there. And when it comes to macronutrients, sorry, micronutrients nutrients like your micro minerals and all. What are the uh, the RDA? Just go through it. Questions will not come. Okay, we are avoiding questions regarding RDA because it keeps on changing. Okay, but functions. How it is stored? What is the deficiency? What is the toxicity? Okay, these things you have to study. Okay, make a table of, of this, and uh, the entire textbook you can put it into a tab tabular format on these categories: functions, how how it is stored, where it is stored, deficiency, what disease you will get, toxicity, what disease you will get. Okay, electrolytes also again same functions, different types of electrolytes, names of them, functions where you find them in your body okay if if the electrolytes are deficient what happens if, if it is too much what happens okay what electrolyte balance as well the entire top topic is important if you study the electrolyte chapter the same thing you will find in water electrolytes okay if you study any one chapter just go for water and electrolyte because everything is covered there micro minerals again rda chapter 12 13 14 it's micro minerals regarding iron Okay, uh, the deficiency of iron, all those things. When it comes to iron, it's an important chapter regarding anemia, different types of anemia you have to study. Chapter 15, 16, 17, again, fat-soluble vitamins, vitamin A, D, E, K. Okay, regarding the deficiency also, a chapter is given, vitamin A deficiency. So in detail, just go through it. Water-soluble vitamins, what vitamin C, Vitamin B complexes are in three chapters. Okay. Vitamin B complexes are being divided into three chapters. So the same thing. Vitamin B, I think for previous past students, I have given this assignment as well. All the vitamin B complex, put it into a table. Okay. Their function, storage, deficiency, toxicity, requirement, how much is required. Okay. These things, if you put in a table, make a table out of it. If you study that table, that is more than enough. Okay. Nutrients and organ uh, organ health, just read through and understand the concept, okay? You don't have to mug up anything from that. Antioxidants, whatever is shown in the recorded sessions video, only that much is important, okay? There is too many uh, medical terminologies in antioxidants, lot of biochemical reactions shown, that is not important for exam. What is taught in the recorded sessions, okay? The main functions of antioxidants, the way how it acts as an antioxidant, how nutrients act as antioxidants, these things are in, uh, important that I have taken in the recorded sessions, okay? Nutritional supplements, the entire chapter. It's a very small chapter, self-study chapter, okay? Nutrition and infection also, entire chapter, just read through, okay? There is nothing to keep it in mind. Uh, when it comes to nutrition and infection, about immunity, be thorough with immunity, active immunity, passive immunity. What are they? Types of immunity. Nutrigenomics. Main thing. What is nutrigenomics? Okay. The definition of it. And the differentiation of it. Okay. What is nutrigenetics and nutrigenomics? The difference between them. That you have to study. Coming to dietetics. Okay. Menu planning, uh, menu planning is more like a practical su practical subject, okay? If you want to practice dietetics and nutrition, menu planning is the chapter you have to start with. Lots of videos are there in the recorded sessions list about menu planning, how you have to use that chapter into your day-to-day -day life, okay? That has been explained well. You can go back to those uh, recordings and see. And when it comes to adults, infants, preschool children, elderly, lactating mothers, pregnant mothers, adolescents, okay, these are different chapters of dietetics. In these specific age groups, requirements are just more than enough. Though that, that's the principal motto of these chapters, okay? You divide your population into different age groups and focus on their requirements, okay? So energy requirements and food requirements. These are the two types of requirements. Energy requirements is like, so nutritional requirements is like on a day-to-day -day basis, how much nutrition, what RDA you have to follow for them. That is nutritional requirements. Food requirements means what? What dietary changes 
or modifications you have to make in the in their life that is nutritional uh, sorry food requirements okay so these two requirements you should know okay only by reading the chapter you will get to know this and even in recordings we have focused more on those part so the same thing applies for infants uh, each and every age group lot of questions from expectant mothers and lactating mothers will come okay nutritional anemia is a very important chapter the entire chapter is important okay diet therapy uh, don't go for the clinical part lot many clinical medical use part is given that is not important for you that is only useful for the practitioners okay those who work in the hospital doctors nurses and all who are formulating medicines and all for them it is important okay especially when it comes to tpn and all total parental nutrition enteral nutrition okay these are not for regular nutritional practitioners or dietetic uh, dietetic, dietetic coaches and all okay this is only for clinical practice okay tpn diet therapy and all okay so for them it is important but what what you can take from this chapter, I have mentioned in the recorded sessions or uh, videos, that is enough. Okay. Can I put it diets, different types of it? Infections and fevers again, immunity, different types of infection. What kind of dietetic change you will make? Okay. If you have fever, what diet, uh, diet you have to follow? If you have um, pain in the stomach, what you have to follow. If you have nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, what you should do. These things have been mentioned in this chapter. Just go, go by that, all topics. Obesity and underweight, in detail, we have studied. Okay, long videos we have recorded on this. All topics are important. Okay. When it comes to these disease conditions, this part of dietetics is disease conditions. Okay, cardiovascular diseases, gastrointestinal diseases, cancer patients, kidney patients, kidney diseases, liver diseases, okay? In all those stages, only dietary management is what you should follow, okay? Diet, diet, dietary management is what you have to study. Don't study about the drugs. Don't study about the surgery, okay? Questions from this will not come. Dietary management questions will only come, okay? That is important for you. Diabetes mellitus as well, or entire topic is imp important. Food sensitivity, different types of food sensitivity, difference between food tolerance, intolerance, food allergy. Errors of medical uh, metabolism, only the meaning and types, okay? And dietary management, what you can do, that's it. Cancer, again. Okay. Dietary management, special diets, different types of diets are given. Okay, what is the principle behind them? That's it. Dietitian question will not come. This is just for you to read and understand what your role should be. Okay, questions will not come. This is your self-study chapter. Sample questions we will discuss tomorrow. So that's about the important chapters.